today we're gonna to be talking about Up on a Housetop, which is one of my favorite Christmas songs. I use this song with second graders, specifically because it has half notes in it, and my second graders are always working on half notes around this time of year, so it just makes it a little bit more perfect. So we're gonna sing through it, and I'm just gonna tell you a couple of the activities we do with it. Super simple, um, we're using Zoom right now because we are distance learning, and we're still using it because there's lots of actions, so if you can't sing, you can use the actions and it's still works really well anyway this song with the little actions that i have come up with goes like this up on a housetop reindeer paws out jumps good old santa claus down through the chimney with lots of toys all for the little ones christmas joys ho 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 who wouldn't go ho 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 who wouldn't go up on a housetop click 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 down through the chimney with good saint nick First comes the stocking of little Nell. Oh dear Santa, fill it well. Give her a dolly that laughs and cries. One that will open and shut its eyes. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on a housetop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Look in the stocking of little Will. Oh, just see what a glory has fill. Here is the hammer and lots of tacks. Whistle and ball and a whip that cracks. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on a house stop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Now on that third verse, I don't have any actions because I have the kiddos come up with their own, which is what I was going to take you to. So I always teach them the song first, obviously, and then we add the actions. So we learn the song and we learn the actions first off, even on Zoom, that's still what we were doing. And then I have them make up their own actions for verse three. Sometimes we do this in groups or sometimes we just have it done individually or we just take suggestions like, okay, what can we do for this? And they raise their hand and I'll pick one person for one thing and one person for another. And I usually go with one for each line. So that's like four different kids. We talk a little bit about the history of Up on a Housetop. It was written in 1864 by Benjamin Hanby, and it is the second oldest secular Christmas song, which is something that second graders don't really need to know, but I think it's really interesting. So apparently Jingle Bells was like the first published secular Christmas song, and then Up on a Housetop was the second. And Hanby was the first person who talked about Santa landing on the roof in his sleigh, which is just really fun. We also use this song to talk about refrain or chorus versus verse. So getting a little bit of that form in and so we talk about the refrain and what part that is it's the part that happens a lot and we talk about other songs that also have refrains you can talk about christmas songs or just songs that are on the radio because pretty much every pop song has a chorus in it after that we usually practice the rhythm now i do have a tbt product that is this song in the product you can present half note but you can also use it just to practice so i don't usually present anything in december because it's crazy town but we do use it to practice half note and so we will clap the rhythm or try to guess like a missing rhythm and stuff like that and for us we always do our half note like this so it'd be like on a housetop, reindeer paws, out jumps good old Santa Claus, down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little one's Christmas joys. And each one has a half note at the end. Then I usually pull out some rhythm cards that are like Christmassy that have half notes in it so we can practice. I love doing these on instruments, although um, again, we are currently at distance learning on Zoom, so we are not doing that but it is still fun after that we talk about what the kids want for christmas and we write our own verses so we usually do this as a group because it just takes a really long time for the kids to come up with their stuff on their own so as a group we will write a new verse to the song that we can sing so i have kind of like a template for it and they just fill in the blanks and then we can come up with actions and sing those as well all right so that was really really simple and really easy. But if you needed a couple ideas for some fun things that you can do for up on a house stop, half note, teaching all those things, then there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you use up on a house stop down below and I will see you later. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.